Hey y'all, welcome to another video. I know I'm looking a little bit different today. I'm not wearing any makeup, but that's because I am preparing to go on my vacation and it's a warm weather vacation. And I have to say, I don't really do warm weather vacations well. I'm a city girl, I like to be on pavement, but we're gonna be close to the water and sand. And as I was like pulling pieces out of my closet, I'm like, this will be a cool video because again, this is a little bit out of my element. So I thought I'd put together some looks with you all just to see maybe what I would pack. I want to still feel like myself, but of course be prepared, you know, for the warm weather. It's a climate change. Just so many things. It's all the things. Okay. And I also have some pieces that I want to share with you all because I've kind of been hoarding these and um, it's some luxury pieces. Most of these are from Saks Fifth Avenue and this video is sponsored by Saks Fifth Avenue. So if you guys are interested in this video, then stick around. Okay y'all, so I have like a box right here of all my things, um, but the first item that I picked up from Saks Fifth Avenue are these jeans and these are by the brand mother denim i believe they are so nice you guys i've heard great things about this brand but this is my first time trying them out and i don't know the style of these but i'll definitely have these linked down below for you all i got these in a size 14 and they are called the tomcat jean okay so i thought these were so cute and look at that just the wash on these are so perfect. The material is really nice. And this is what the pocket detailing looks like. I also like the fact that they've kind of like removed that little tab there. So it leaves it dark. And then you just see the mother branding right there. Girl, excuse my nails. I'm getting those done tomorrow. But yeah, these are super cute. Um, it just says mother superior. Oh, I just now saw this. Look, it says holier than thou. Look how cool that is. And it's like a patch so I think you could actually you may be able to um iron this and put these on your jeans that's so cute but yeah these are the jeans and they do have a little bit of stretch but this is like a true denim and that's what I've been really looking for like a nice true denim that's really comfortable so I'm hoping that these fit me really cute so yeah I picked up these I'm super excited about these and like I said they're the perfect wash to wear um on vacation I don't know if I showed y'all that rip too. They're ripped on both legs. So super cute. And I didn't have to get these in short and they look pretty short. Okay. Okay. Y'all. So these next two pieces is really a set, but of course you have to purchase them separately and it's by the brand rotate. And I picked up a sweatsuit. Now this sweatsuit, as you can see, is bright red. I am obsessed with this sweatsuit. You guys look at this. So this is the top. It's an oversized sweatshirt, as you can see. It's like huge, okay? And I got this in a size large. As you can see, it just says Rotate Sunday. I thought this was so cute, but this is the large. Look at how big it is. So nice. The material is super nice. It's not overly thick, but it's, it's like a normal sweatshirt, and it has that soft fleece on the inside. So my idea was probably to wear this to the airport, but we'll see how it fits and how, you know, I like it. And then these are the pants. I just love these. So they have Rotate Sunday going down the right side along the little pocket there. Plain little, you know, sweatpants. And they have the cuff at the bottom. But I like this cuff because it's kind of thick. So these will, this will actually look cute with like some heels. So we'll see. We'll see. Because if this is like really giving a look, girl, this may be a brunch look, okay, for when I get back from my trip. But I love this and I just love this red color. It's so vibrant and beautiful. Oh, I love it. Now the pants look like they run a little bit smaller. It's a large, but they're not as oversized. Next up, I picked up this stowed or is it stawed? Stowed maybe dress? I don't know. Um, but I thought this was so cute, y'all. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. It's a really thin knit. And as you can see, it has, it's two-toned. One side is like a burgundy color and the other side is like a uh, maybe fuchsia purpley pink color. I just thought that this was so cute. They had an orange and pink one that I really liked, but it was on back order. And girl, I was like, this may be cute for my trip. So it buttons down the middle um, and it kind of has like a slit. Of course, I'll try everything on. I picked this up in a size extra large. Um, and this, honestly, is super stretchy. It looks like it's going to be a little big. So we'll see. And I don't know, like my friend, I was talking to my friend uh, yesterday and she was like, you know, it's going to be like really hot, right? I guess I'm just not ready for how hot it's going to be. Um, 
but we'll see because that's a thin knit but you know we'll see so all of those clothing pieces you will be able to get in the friends and family sale at Saks Fifth Avenue, 25% off of all new arrivals. The sale starts March 18th and it ends March 23rd, okay? And if you're interested in like jewelry and things like that, you can get 20% off of those items. So make sure you shop the Saks Fifth Avenue friends and family sale. This is their biggest sale of the year. So you don't want to miss out. All these brands rotate, like I said, Mother, Stove. They had tons of brands for you to choose from so make sure you check out Saks Fifth Avenue for these pieces I'll make sure to have everything linked down below for you guys just in case you decide that you want to shop these pieces too I want to go ahead and get into the accessories that I've picked up you may have seen some of these and some you may have not yes. um, I got for it to be a cover-up it's by Norma Kamali I love Norma Kamali's material um oh wait okay y'all <laughs> wait so on the website, this was like a drapey skirt. And if you are familiar with Norma Kamali, she's known for her ruche detailing and all of that. Uh, this is just literally a scarf, like a sarong. So I don't know, cause I don't know how to tie this up to make it look like the picture did. So we'll see, as you can see, this is just a big white scarf. But so I did get this to go with a white swimsuit that I have, but I won't be trying on any of the swimsuits today. But of course, if you follow me, you'll be seeing those pictures come soon. So we'll see about this because I really need it for that to already be ruched and draped because again, I don't know how to tie that. Um, so first we have this bag, okay? This is a Bottega bag, so gorgeous. This is in the racing green color. And I believe this pattern is called Intracchiato. Listen, I, I don't know, but I've been wanting this racing green color in my collection for a little minute. Um, and I wanted a different style, but I could never find it. So I went ahead and got this because it was on sale. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. I love this color. It is fully stuffed, as you can see. So when you take the stuffing out, it's not like as fat. But I just think that this bag is so beautiful. Of course, the craftsmanship is amazing, you guys. Like, uh, it's so soft and so supple. I'm obsessed with this bag. It's so beautiful. And... I just love it. I think that this is like a forever bag. You know, clutches are one of those things where you have to be in the mood to carry them because there's no strap. But I feel like if you have a pop of color and an interest, interesting clutch, it's something that you will keep for years to come. You may not wear it every day and every week, but when it's time, that's a nice piece to pull out. And speaking of Bottega, I also picked up a couple of Bottega shoes. Bottega is probably one of my favorite brands simply because their heels are so comfortable and they're cool too. So it's like you get that interest what while still being kind of like a classic and when I say classic I just mean like they go with so many things I'm not saying classic as in the style is gonna last you for years and years because some people feel like Bottega is very trendy I kind of do as well um, I, I don't know if they'll be around you know or these styles will be around for years and years and years to come but right now they're popping and I'm loving every single item okay so let's open Oh, y'all look at the color on these so I picked up these these are the new mesh sandals and these are in the grass green color oh the leather is so supple y'all this shoe is beautiful and it just ties around the ankle I just think this look at the shoe this is a gorgeous shoe now this reminds me of like a candy green if you will so this is that in comparison to I kind of like the fact that it's not too matchy matchy I would still wear these both together depending on you know the outfit that I'm wearing so I'm hoping to take these on my trip both of these and see how they'll look right off the bat simply put I probably just wear it with like a white dress and wear these two pieces um but like I said Bottega shoes are so comfortable I love these I have the pump version and when I saw these I was like gotta have and I don't know like I've been living for green lately so so excited about these these are so freaking cute and I also picked up these Bottegas from Saks on sale and these are older but these are so cute y'all and so comfortable oh my goodness look at these 
Ugh. Y'all, are you seeing this? These are called the Curve Sandal. I mean, my goodness, in the paprika color. I got mine in a size seven and a half. All of my Bottegas are seven and a half, I believe, except my Litos. So these are so freaking cute. I just love the color. Now these are perfect for vacation and the cushion in these, it's, it's just like, you cannot beat it, okay? So I'm excited for these. I'm hoping that I figure out something to wear with these because they are so soft and comfortable. And I mean, I could not beat the sale. So happy to have these. This is a pair of shoes that I really, they weren't on my radar, but um, having get, gotten them on sale, girl, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. So super cute. And my last item that I picked up are a pair of Dior Soul Lights. Now I have these in black already. Um, and then the nude became available and they were on sale. So had to grab them. Now I thought that these would be cream nude because it's they are called nude but i believe they are referring to the lens being nude um so these are like the pinky peach color i don't know i mean these are huge glasses right but i just feel like that cream color would have been popping um but we'll see we'll see if i figure out something to wear with these um on my vacation they will definitely be coming with me because they're just so cute right these make a statement all on their own. I'm also going to be wearing blonde hair on the vacation. So, you know, I think that'll be a really cute little look. Hey, y'all. So here's the stove dress or is it stod? I'm not sure. I like this dress. It's super comfortable. Um, it's kind of a slinky knit. It's kind of like a heavy slinky knit, but it's thin, if that makes any sense. Um... I don't know if I would wear this on my trip simply because I may be too hot in this, but I'm gonna come closer because this is like a silk blend. You can definitely tell this, this fuchsia color is so beautiful. It's actually like the same color as my Loewe bag, but this would be cute. I wish it was a little, I wish it fit more like this to give me a little bit more definition in the waist area. But either way, it's still a cute dress. Um, I feel like I could have definitely gotten a size large because you can see we have plenty of room here. But let me know what y'all think about it. I don't know that this would, like I said, be good for vacation though, because it needs to be pulled in a wee bit. And this is not a belt. I mean, this is not a dress that I would build. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Let me know what y'all think. And I have my shoes back here, you know, just in case I need to throw a shoe on to see the vibes. And I probably wouldn't wear any of these shoes with this. What shoe would I wear with this to like make it a little bit more summer appropriate? I don't know. But either way, I don't have makeup on because I don't want to get makeup on the clothes, you know, as we're packing them. So let me go ahead and try the other items on and then we'll start trying to put some looks together. Okay, y'all. So here is the Rotate Sweatsuit. I'm obsessed. Okay, I love this color. Um, but as you can see, the top is super oversized. It's so comfortable. It's just, I love it. And then here are the sweatpants. So they fit really cute. They have pockets. Um, they do have an uh, invisible, well, it's like a hidden drawstring, so you can tighten them up if you need to. I think these are so cute. Honestly, this would still be cute with some heels for like brunch. Let's see, how would we do a half tuck? Yeah, like something like this. Isn't this cute? And throw on like a white heel. I'm gonna put these white sandals on. Okay, y'all, so I had to add a little white sandal just to see if it was gonna work. But this will still be cute to wear to the airport. But if I wanted to dress it up a little bit, I could do that. Um, just wear like a white clutch or something like that and a white pump or sandals. I love it. It's just so cozy and like oversized and it's literally perfect. This color is so nice. And then they also had this in pink and maybe like a sage green color. So if you're not into this bright red, you don't have to. Um, girl, it's the little details on the side for me. I love it. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I went ahead and put the jeans on and this is what they're looking like. These are really cute jeans. They are the perfect length on me. Love that, okay? Love the wash. I'm actually really 
into these jeans. They fit so well. Like, wow. So my first experience with mother denim is a good one. Um, I went ahead and added just this old top that I have, um, but I've never worn it. So I was like, this would be perfect for vacation, right? So I probably would do maybe like gold sandals, maybe, but I already had these little white ones out. And if I did decide to do white, which I would imagine blonder hair, not a headband, and I could pull out this cute little bag. How is this? Oh, this is cute, right? So this is cute because this wicker bag, you know, definitely makes it more warm weather. I'm still myself because I'm wearing my jeans and my little heels, but these are super comfortable heels. Um, sleeveless top, but it has a little bit of interest. So yeah, I like this. I probably would do maybe like some gold sunglasses or something, gold and brown maybe. Yeah, I think this is cute. And also what I like about this is that I can switch out the shoes. So if I didn't want to wear heels at all, I can put on my Hermes sandals. Let's try those on just to see. Because some looks require you to be elevated. Oh, this is cute still. So I think it still looks nice with the Hermes sandals. Um, if I just didn't want to wear heels at all. And of course these sandals can go with several different things. Now, I, I still would probably prefer gold because I can really bring everything out, but I'm just trying to see, okay. Um, but I definitely know that I'm going to be bringing these jeans because they can go with so many different things. As you can see here, this is how I get ready, okay? So I just bring out all the things that I kind of want to wear. I may not know if they're going to work, but I want to wear them. So I bring them all out and I just lay them out here because I don't want to junkie up my room. I know I'll clean up my living room. So um, yeah, everything is kind of sitting out here. I bought out a couple of bags. As you can see, I got my shoes back there, but this could be a potential. But like I said, these jeans will go with so many things. So let me try on another let me try on another top with these jeans. So I pulled out this Fendi top. Now I know I'm bringing this as a potential cover up for a bathing suit. So I wanted to see if I could like wear this with jeans or maybe shorts. So being that it's gonna be warm, I'd probably roll the sleeves, you know, make it short sleeve. Let's see, possibly. So I have on my red sandals and then my little red bag. Let's see. This could be a cute little look. And honestly, I could tie this up in the front. Tie it up. What y'all think? I think this would be a cute little look if we're gonna go like, you know, I wouldn't say sightseeing because we're just gonna be chilling, but you never know. Maybe it's windy one night, you wanna go to dinner or something. I don't know but I'll be comfortable because I have on flats and I'm still giving a little bit of color with the pop of red, but it's still in my comfort zone. Now I can always, like I said, switch out the mother jeans for um, some shorts, maybe black shorts or even cut off denim, possibly. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up and this is definitely a potential look. I know I'm bringing this, know I'm bringing the jeans and I feel like the pop of red works. I did roll these up this time just to kind of see what I was working with. Um, and like I said, I could always do like tie it up or maybe like a half tuck like that. So yeah, we'll see. Okay y'all, so I have on my orange Bottega shoes with these cargo pants and I think that this is so cute. Now this um, little racer front is actually a crop top. Clearly, you know, you want to wear you like a strapless bra or something. And I have this super old clutch. I probably have had this for like 11 years. Um, but I think that this will be just like really cute. I love the colors together. And like I said, with the orange, just giving like a little pop right at the tip of the pants. These are like cargo pants and they are quite see-through. So perfect for vacation. Let me know what y'all think about this. Again, imagine my blonde hair, okay, I'll have a little bit of a beat on, not too much, okay, because it's gonna be hot, but my hair wouldn't be like this, and you know, I'd be looking a little cute. So, I think this is such a nice look. 
I could bring my orange handbag, but I don't want to bring too many handbags. So being that this is like a flat clutch, it'll work really well. I'm thinking I could kind of make this a little sportier and do a straw visor. I have a straw visor somewhere. That may be cute too, and that'll be easy to pack because I kind of wanted to bring a fedora, but I don't want to wear that on the plane, you know what I'm saying? So this is definitely something that I'm going to pack and take with me with my orange shoes. And being that I have the orange clutch um, with it, I can probably mix and match with some other things. So that's good. But yeah, I'm really loving the colors. I love the color of this like little situation here. And these pants are super comfortable, pretty flowy. They're cute. This is another look that we can pack and it seems comfortable and like I won't be too hot. <laughs> now wait a minute. So I added the green bag just for funsies because I'm gonna bring the green clutch. So it kind of pulls in with this like pukey green, you know? I think this is cute too. It's like color blocking. Too much or just enough? Y'all let me know. I'm liking this. This green actually pops really well with this look because the tones of this has a little bit of green in it. So it kind of pulls. Yeah. And of course, green and orange always is a good idea. So yeah, just in case I have another option. Okay, y'all. So I picked up this white dress recently. It was in my last haul and I went ahead and added the green Bottegas and I'm obsessed with these shoes. They are so cute, so comfortable. I just live, okay? I need these in another color, even though the green is the best, okay? The green's the best. Now, I could do this green bag, but I'm like, they're not the exact same color because this is racing green, which is more of a real, mm, I guess, true crayon green. And you know how like, it seems like you're trying to match and it's not working, or does this work because it doesn't match? I don't know. I'm trying to think if I did not wear this, what other bag would I wear? I mean, I guess if all else fails, I can wear this white bag, but it's not giving. So it's like I'm forcing it. So back to the drawing board on this because I'm not loving. Um, it's like I love everything individually, but just not together. So. Hmm. Let's start over. Okay, y'all. So I decided to pull out this dress from Kai Collective and it has like a lot of different colors in it. So I feel like it kind of just all blends more than anything. And I just have it kind of like ruched up over a pair of shorts. So let me know what y'all think about this one. I kind of like this. This would be like something, you know, night out or something like that. Now these shorts are really old. I think these are from like current Elliot. I can't remember, um, but these are super comfortable. They're really short in the front, but they kind of come down a little bit more in the back. So love that. And then, um, yeah, I think it'll be nice with the blonde hair. You know what I'm saying? It'll all just kind of blend. So yeah, liking these. But yeah, I kind of like this look. I'm probably gonna pack this because I can wear this as a cover up. I can wear this as a dress and I can also wear it like this with some shorts or something like that. So I think this is a good piece to take because it's see-through and you know, just warm weather appropriate. And I never even really wore this out at its full potential. I think I wore it under a blazer one time. So yeah. We'll bring this. Okay, so I know I'm gonna bring this white shirt dress because I just love it. Um, it also has pockets, so it's really casual. And then I belted it up with my Chanel belt. I have on just like some Chanel slides and my black, this is new y'all. It's a vintage Chanel tote. Um, and let me just show y'all this, okay. <laughs> so pretty, look at that. The leather on this is so soft and supple. You know it's lambskin, my favorite. And then we have the 24 karat gold chains. That's what I love about vintage. It's the quality for me, okay? And these chains are not like scratched up or anything. Look at that. So yeah, this may be a day like if we do decide to venture out and go shopping or just mosey around, I have a big enough bag to like put stuff in. And then I'm still super comfortable. Uh, I just love wearing white anyway so i think this will be cute um and if i wanted to wear this open i could do that maybe put like a black 
uh, tube top under and then those black little mini shorts that'll still be cute and I just have on these Chanel like slides these would be great for the pool as well and I also have a black swimsuit so I can wear this completely open and put the black swimsuit underneath um, you know and still carry the tote and wear these slides so it's kind of like a twofer maybe um, but yeah I think it's cute and even if like we wanted to mosey around for a little bit and then go to the pool. I can just put my swimsuit in here. You know what I'm saying? So I think this is nice. I do feel like the black shorts would look even cuter just to like add a little bit more black. Um, again, my hair would not be looking like this, but yeah, this is comfortable, cute, easy. Um, you don't have to think about it. Just adding those little accessories, you know, it makes all the difference. So I feel like I need to come up with another look that will look good with this tote and make it super comfortable. I feel like I can wear this tote because it's pretty plain. You can't even really tell that it's Chanel. Um, that would be cute with the Fendi top as well with black shorts like I mentioned. Um, so maybe a few different things, you know, with this black tote. But this is good. I'm going to carry this on the plane with me actually because this is like my largest bag. <laughs> So I'm going to try to fit as much stuff in here. So I think I'm going to come up with like one more black look maybe. But so far we have like three outfits. Of course I have like little throw on dresses like this one here. Um, I really don't have to try this on. Like this is just a throw on dress. You know, super loose, flowy. Wear it with like the white Hermes sandals, white little bag. If I'm going somewhere, if I'm just going down to the pool, just the sandals. So. I like stuff like this. I will try it on just so y'all can just see the vibe, but it's, it's super simple. And that's what I love about just like baby doll dresses and stuff like that. You don't have to really worry about it. And if I wanted to amp it up, I could add a hat or something. Okay, so here's the dress on. Like I said, it's just a super simple, flowy. It's 100% cotton, really thin. Um, and yeah, it's perfect for like vacation. Of course it needs to be ironed, um, but we'll do that when we get there. <laughs> So yeah, I think this is cute. And you can also use this as a cover up. So anything that, you know, has dual purpose, I'm all here for it because that means less things that you're bringing. So it's really hard for me to pack y'all because I just like bringing everything. That's why it's important to try everything on so you can see what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. Um, but I still like to have options. So this is cute. And then I could also add these orange shoes possibly. The Bottegas may look cute with this as well. Okay, y'all, so I've been wanting to wear this skirt for years. This skirt is so old, it's from Hanifa, and I've never even worn this out the house. But I decided to just throw on this um, linen top and tie it up in the front. I just have on these shoes right now just for height purposes, just to see the vibes, but I'm not liking it. I feel like I look like a pumpkin <laughs> and this is the stem, but I don't know. I could just do like, I don't know, maybe just like a little crop top, maybe something nude or something like that. Huh. The skirt is just so good and it would be perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's like the perfect vacation skirt. But where do you wear it? Like, I mean, what do you wear with it? I really just don't know. Just like, um, I don't know, like a sports bra type of crop top. That may work, actually. I have a black one. I have a cream. We'll see. But yeah, I had to show y'all this skirt because I really want to wear this. I need like a little nude situation to make this work. So maybe I'll go out and look for just like a nude crop because I think a nude one would be really cute because black, black and orange is like Halloween, you know, cream is just like, eh, and a color would be so nice too. Like a pop of color, another bright color, which I don't have, <laughs> or I could, no, that's too muted. Yeah. I need another bright color crop top. Oh, like a blue. That would be everything like that ocean blue, you know what I'm talking about? That would be super pretty. So I may go out and look for just a little, you know, crop top or whatever. I think that would be so cute. And I could still do the white shoes with that. Um, maybe not the green bag, but definitely the white bag if I wanted to. So yeah, good idea. <laughs> 
So I also have this cute little lounge set and this is definitely coming with me. It's super cool um, as far as like, you know, you're not gonna be too hot. Um, it's like a camel color. I like it flowy. Let me come closer so y'all can see it. This is from, um, I actually picked this up from H&M and they had this in black and cream as well, just in case y'all are interested. So right now I just have on my Hermes sandals, uh, but I could always, you know, add like a little heel if I wanted to. Now, because, I mean, this is cute and it's super easy, like getting up, going to breakfast and stuff like that. But if I was going out, I'd probably tie this up and put it like in a little knot in the front, just to give me a little bit more shape. Yeah, see, I like this a little bit better. It just gives me a little bit more shape just because I'm so bottom heavy. Um, you know, I wanna bring a little bit of attention to my waist area and define that. I'm liking the fact that the green Bottega goes with this. I live for camel and green. Then white if I wanted to, not with these sandals, of course. So I took those sandals off because it was just throwing everything off. But yeah, I love the fact that the green Bottega goes with this. Super cute. And if I wanted to be super basic, I could do my little white basket bag. Okay, y'all. So here is another simple look, but it's kind of elevated because I have on these faux leather uh, shorts. I love these. These are like a taupey kind of gray brown color. And then I just have on my Frankie Shop t-shirt. Um, of course, it needs to be iron, but I put on my Hermes sandals just because they're white. And just to bring a little bit of femininity and interest to this, I put on this like uh, silver and pearl belt. So I thought that would be cute. And then I bring out my Gucci bag. Now this was on my wish list, y'all. So I finally got it and I love it. Um, so I think this is super cute. And this is actually like a beauty bag, like a makeup box or whatever. So I could pack my makeup in here if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, the color is perfect, right? I love this. For some reason, I'm seeing a headband with this, like a chunky headband, but I don't have, I, don't, I have a white one, I think. Um, but I don't think I really have one to match, you know, or to bring things together. Um, but I think this is a really cute neutral look, very comfortable. Um, you know, it looks like I tried, but I really didn't. I just have on a shirt, a t-shirt and some shorts. So I really like this. Um, I feel like I won't be hot at all in this. So this is definitely one come with me. Let me come closer so y'all can see. This is the little belt. I've had this for years. Then of course the t-shirt and the shorts so cute okay y'all so i think i'm gonna end this video right here i have a few options ready to go and then of course um i'll continue to pack throughout the week but you'll see all the looks girl on instagram okay but most of most of all i'm gonna just be relaxing more than anything so um yeah it's a hot mess in here so i need to make sure that I put everything to the side because I'm not leaving for another couple of days, but I need to put everything to the side and, you know, put up the rest of the things that are just absolutely not going with me. I'm still debating on the green Bottega shoes because I felt like it was forced. Um, for some reason, I'm feeling like I either need like a super colorful type of top with that um, or something, I don't know, so that it's not seeming like I'm trying to match those the clutch and the shoes together we'll see about that but like i said Saks fifth avenue is having an amazing sale coming up so y'all make sure y'all shop the sale 25 percent off um, of the new arrivals and also 20 percent off of some jewelry as well so make sure you shop from the 18th to the 23rd check out that description box for everything that i picked up at Saks. it's going to be linked down below and i'll link um whatever else i can find you know that is still available that i've tried on today so thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you on my next one bye y'all